Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I am finally going to show you my home tour for Easter 2020. I hope you're all staying safe and positive during this rough time that we're all going through. So hopefully this video brings you some joy and thank you so much for stopping by and watching this. Okay, so we'll start here in the entryway. So I have my mirror that I've had for a couple of years, a alphabet picture, and then Right down here, I have my horse statue that I've had for a few years. And then all I did was just do a little floral arrangement in a basket here. And then I just have a rabbit pulling a cart. Then on the opposite side here, I just have my firkin buckets and I added a couple Ray Dunn eggs just to kind of bring some Easter up there. And then down here, I have the salt box house. I have a few eggs scattered around. I have a lamp from Urban's Country Tinware and a little bunny driving a cart. So when you come in from the entryway, I have this handmade garland, one that is handmade by a lady named Erin who is local. So I just have that on the top. Then on top of the TV stand, I pretty much kept everything the same. I just added a rabbit and some carrots. Don't these look real? They are by the same lady. And then moving on down, I have a shelf that features a lot of stuff that Erin has made. Um, she made that rabbit, this blue jay, this rabbit, and then she made all the little eggs that are scattered around. And all I did here was I took kind of like some fern and grass type picks and I cut them apart and I just kind of scattered them around. And then this right here is actually a little feather Christmas tree that I have. So I love how this little grouping looks. So coming up from there over here on this table, the only things that I really added here to make it kind of Eastery were these two little white rabbits that I got from the dollar store last year. And then I have this lamp that is made by the Tin Peddler. I have a little teddy bear there and a crock with some irises. And of course I kept my pineapple on the wall. Then for my corner cabinet here, I kind of left this sort of neutral. You're gonna see that I kept a lot of the things for my Easter decor in the white or ivory color. And the reason why I do that is because every year I kind of feel like I'm going in a different direction when it comes to Easter. So this is a good way to be able to use all of the things that I've had for many, many years and incorporate them in whatever my theme is. So right here on the bottom, I have a pineapple tart warmer that I got from Yankee Candle. The next shelf up is a set of hop Easter bunnies. And I also have a Ray Dunn bunny on the top shelf. And then right up here, I just kind of wanted to keep the top simple. So I have a couple more Ray Dunn eggs as well as another lamp from the Tin Peddler. Now I wanna to explain to you real quick what makes this look so balanced. Of course I kept everything centered, but I want you to notice the distance between this shelf and this shelf. See how like that space is the same as up here? That is how I kept everything balanced. It kind of puts your eye at ease because it is not going in a whole bunch of different directions. And with the spacing being perfect in between the items, I just really love how it turned out. Now over here on my one end table, all I have is a rabbit. That was my grandma's with a couple more eggs that Aaron made and a Ray Dunn watering can. I actually got this to be a functioning water can but I can tell you water goes everywhere, but where you want it to go. So it is strictly for decorative purposes at this moment. Now right here on my coffee table, I kind of kept everything sort of simple. I have a trencher that I got from Amazon. Um, I could not find the link, so I can't help you find it, but I'm sure if it pops up again, I will let you all know where I got it from. 
Then a couple more of the rabbits from the Dollar General, as well as a Ray Dunn egg. And then I pretty much kept my pillows the same. I don't really have like Easter E pillows. I think last year I used like a gray velvet. And then over here, these two pieces are actually from, oh gosh, it's slipping my mind. They are from Cracker Barrel. That's where they're from. This was an Easter collection that they had a few years ago, um, this little egg bowl, and then this egg plate here. I think the back says what the collection is. Let's see here. Okay, so it must have been their Easter traditions thing, and you can see they were pretty inexpensive. But I love the image that's on this plate, so I just place it in a little plate stand. And I always put these two together because, I don't know, I kind of feel like they would look weird if I separated them. And I just have my salt box house in the corner, another lamp from the Tin Peddler, pineapple picture, and my pineapple chair. Oh, and then down here, let me explain guys. Alright, so I have this big idea that I am going to do gardening videos. So I have some seeds started here, I have some plants that I bought online. So, if you guys are interested in seeing how I do outdoor landscaping, please let me know. I can't promise you that it's going to be beautiful, but we'll try. So, that is my Easter home tour. I didn't do a whole lot, but it's enough to get me into the spirit. And I hope you guys all got some inspiration from this video, and I hope this makes you realize that you don't really need a lot to make a big impact in your space. So always keep that in mind. Start small and eventually you will have a collection like I have built up. So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope that everyone stays safe and happy Easter.